Topic 2. Welcome back guys to Topic 2 of Hadoop Automation. We need to clone this git vagrant Hadoop that I have on my git site. For we need to start bootstrapping all Hadoop VMs. Then we will run VS Code or whatever automation editing you are using. Let's describe this git. It got Ansible VM. It will provision an Ansible to update resolve.conf. It will populate slash etc slash hosts, create an alias app for Ansible playbook, install binaries. The DB VM is here. The vagrant for DB is with 4CPU, the Active Directory VM. First, we will be using Packer and then Vagrant to provision the Active Directory IIS certificate server. The Packer will create the virtual box for use with Vagrant. The reason for this is for Windows not to get expired, but better if you have license if it expires. The Kerberos automation might not work, especially with three nodes. And on each node, Ambari users are on the average of 10 users. So do the math, you need 30 users. That's the reason why I added Windows Packer so that Windows is not expired. Now we are ready to bootstrap Ansible VM, but first let us check the destination folder. That is my RAID 10 drive, which drive E and folder slash VBox slash VM now on VS Code terminal. CD to Ansible and run Vagrant up and wait. Ansible VM is now running on VirtualBox, but the provisioning is not done yet. Before, I forgot the version of VirtualBox. I guess it doesn't matter what VirtualBox version should start at 6.1. But on Vagrant, we need the plugin. We need the Vagrant Reload and the Vagrant VB Guest. The Reload plugin is needed because it's on the Vagrant file code. If you don't have it, it will not work to fully provision the VM. It is also Ansible Automation, the Vagrant VB Guest. This is needed on the shared folder on VirtualBox to get copied on IIS root so that Hadoop Ansible will have a local download site. Now it's done, let SSH on it, let verify if Selenix is disabled, the Ansible version is 2.9.10. If your version is not 2.9.10, what I suggest is to go to my addition.txt and remove the Ansible, install the Python and then install Ansible particular version, the IPs. The 2.15 is always there if you want your registration to connect to the VMs. The other IP is the Hadoop network that you will use, the 192.168.99.x. I will update my addition.txt. I didn't add the Vagrant VB guest plugin. Now let's verify dbvm, check the IP, it's okay, we can check if we can ping Ansible VM. Now we go to the HD node 1.
Now HD node 1 is done. Let's check it. Now HD node 2. Then the last one, HD node 3. Let's check again VirtualBox. All Linux VM done. Let's shut down all VMs first, then create the first snapshot on VMs. We need to save so that in case something happened, then let's create the Hadoop group. 